welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to be making veggie cakes. Yes, we are. We're going to need some flour, some bacon powder. We're going to use some extra virgin olive oil, bread crumbs, black pepper, garlic salt, Mrs. Dash. I've got some carrots back there. That is squash, corn, mushrooms, bell peppers, and bell peppers, red, yellow, and orange, a red onion, zucchini, three eggs, and some Parmesan cheese. Here is your shot of everything we're going to use to make this absolutely delicious veggie cake. All right, I'll be back. All right, to this bowl, I've already added half a cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of flour, then I've got half a cup of the Parmesan cheese and a tablespoon of uh, bacon powder. I'm gonna go ahead and add in about a tablespoon of that black pepper. And same thing with Mrs. Dash, tablespoon. And season to taste on this too. And then a tablespoon of garlic salt. And we're going to mix all that together. Get all that incorporated together. <coughs> yes, the pepper got me. All right. We just want to make sure that bacon soda, bacon soda, bacon powder is incorporated in there. The seasonings are all incorporated in there. And then now we're going to start adding those veggies. Let me move those over one second. All right, here we go. We're going in with the squash, the red onions, and it's just now we're going to just put everything in here. Onions, going to go in with those mushrooms, the zucchini, as it plops and hits me in the face, which is quite all right. There you go. Those carrots. And you can swap this out for any veggies you want. They don't have to be the ones that I use. Use anything you want in here. Put green beans in it if you want to. Okay? I'm going to go in with those bell peppers. And then the corn. And there you go. And now we're just going to mix all of this up. We want to get that flour cheese, breadcrumbs on all of this. And yes, this is a lot. We're going to make quite a few patties. We absolutely are. If you don't want to make this many, absolutely cut it in half. Cut this recipe in half. All right? That's all you got to do. These are loved in my house, so I make quite a few. You can also freeze them, which is sometimes what I do. You freeze them, put them in a Ziploc bag, and then they can whip out what they want and throw it in the air fryer. I like to do that with my egg rolls too. And then all they do is pick out what they want, stick them in the air fryer, and they are easy peasy ready to go. All right, so I would say that this is pretty well coated. And I'm going to drop those eggs in there. I'll be right back. All right, I got those eggs cracked in a bowl, and we're just going to kind of mix them up. I'm going to make sure you put them in a bowl in this particular instance because that's a lot to take out to try to find a shell. You just scramble them up. And yes, I'm using a bowl I have the carrots in. No sense in dirtying up another bowl, right? Just scramble those babies right on up. Put her back over here. Pour it all about. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please, please, please. Gigi's always doing something. She's got something for everybody. And then we're just going to mix that egg on in there. That's going to be our glue. And we need to get it all the way through here. That's the reason why I brought out the gloves. I can get down there better. It's going to be our glue. It's going to hold all of this yumminess together. Look at those colors. All those vegetables absolutely amazing and this is such a delicious dish yum yum 
You better make some. You hear me say that all the time. You better make some. All right. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Flour coated our, our flour mixture with the breadcrumbs and everything. Bacon powder. All the seasonings we put in there. Yes. And see, look. This is going to make a nice little patty for us. Look at that. See? Look at all those flavors in there. All those vegetables. All right. I'm going to get this skillet over here. And we're going to start making some patties. I'll be right back. All right. I've already got this skillet over here heating up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put in about a tablespoon or so. Maybe two. Because you want to coat the bottom of the pan. Not to the point where it's going to be frying, frying, frying. You know, like you're frying a piece of chicken. But you definitely want to coat the bottom of the pan. Just thinly. Not thick. Just thin. And then just kind of swirl it around. Okay? See how much I got in there? Just a little bit. And then we're going to make these babies up. You can make these as big or as little or as thin or as thick as you want. But just keep in mind, it's going to determine your cooking time as well. Because I'm going to cook mine for about five minutes each side. Just browning them up. You can use a scoop to do this. I'm just making a ball. And then I'm going to flatten it out just a little bit. Shape it up. And then put it in there. Just like that. And again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. All right? Go ahead and subscribe to Gigi's channel. I guarantee you'll find something you like. I've got a playlist out there for you guys to check out. Check it out. See what I got cooking out there. I got my make desserts. I make meatless meals. I do it all. All right? Check it out. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue to keep doing this till I fill up this pan. And I'm going to have to definitely do this in batches. We're definitely going to have to do these babies in batches. Okay. I'm going to put one more in there. And if you find that yours doesn't stick as much as you want, add a little bit more flour to it, okay? Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. In five minutes, I'll come back and let you see how she looks when she flips. I'll be back. All right, it's been five minutes. Look how beautiful she is. We're going to go ahead and flip the others. Try not to make her fall. There we go. Try not to put my arm in your face. There we go. I'm going to let it cook for another five minutes. And these beautiful babies will be done. Let me give you a close-up. There is a close-up. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, yum, yum, you better make some. Delicious. And I got another batch to do, and I'll give her her complete and total close up what she looks like on a plate. I'll be back. I'm still making another batch, but there she is. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Look at her. Things made easy with Gigi all day, every day. Please like, subscribe, and feel free to share. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Gigi is going to see you on the next one.